Three Nigerian startups receive $37,000 seed fund from JICA for entrepreneur uh, ventures. Federal government set to start disbursements of grants, loans to businesses. Oil clams as meat ease tension back in focus. Asia market mixed has investors await this week's key inflation data. On Business Express, we shall be focusing on issues around COP28 and its economic benefits. The program is Business Express, reaching you from Abuja, Nigeria's capital. I am Musa Bakar, your guide. Let's bring you up to speed with business development. Multilateral development banks attending the 2023 uh, UN Climate Change Conference, COP28, have affirmed their commitment to uh, concerted global action, including increasing co financing and private sector engagement to address the acute effects of climate change in Africa. Details with Justin Ben Lee. Despite contributing the least to global warming, and having the lowest emissions, Africa faces existential risks due to catastrophic impact of climate change. Perennial droughts in the Horn of Africa and recent devastating floods in Libya, Malawi, Mozambique, Zimbabwe and other parts of the continent have claimed thousands of lives, destroyed infrastructure, washed away hundreds of hectares of food crops and threatened to push millions of people into extreme poverty. In a joint statement released in Dubai, United Arab Emirates, the bank is committed to collaborating on socially inclusive, gender responsive, nature positive climate and development actions, leveraging their unique expertise and networks. Signatories to the statement include the African Development Bank Group, European Investment Bank, Asian Development Bank, Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank, Council of Europe Development Bank, European Bank for Reconstruction and Development, as well as the Inter-American Development Bank Group, Islamic Development Bank, New Development Bank, and the World Bank Group. For impact, the MDBs will collaborate to attract private capital at scale for countries, expand the scope of reporting climate results and impact, and help countries identify priorities and investment opportunities. They also committed to support countries' adaptation and disaster risk management efforts through the MDB's early warning for all initiative, which promotes accessible and inclusive early warning systems for all by 2027. MDBs will launch a long-term strategies program to help countries and subnational entities to formulate long-term low-emission development strategies and other long-term climate strategies. The banks also express support for various sectors including water, health and gender, committing to identify and expand financing for gender-responsive solutions for governments and businesses. Federal records uh, major gain at COP28 in the United Arab Emirates with the signing of a memorandum of understanding on the development of local content capacity for rural electrification projects. Charles Alpha reports. Nigeria's industrialization drive and the vision of President Bola Tinubu for local manufacturing capacities to create employment 
accelerate electrification and grow the economy while decarbonizing in line with the country's energy transition commitment is gradually becoming a reality with signing of memorandum of understanding for the localization of solar energy production in the country. We could see tangible results already recorded by Nigeria, particularly those private sector multilateral bodies outside Nigeria. The MOU was signed at the Nigerian Pavilion on the sidelines of COP28 and covers the provision of homegrown solutions to solar energy production, rapid transfer of technology and commercialization of solar park within and outside Nigeria. Nigeria is a country where uh, homegrown solutions thrives better and we are looking at ways how we can encourage uh, these solutions and how we can promote them and give them a better playing ground you know, in order to thrive. So this uh, is a unique opportunity uh, because uh, we have a partner to ensure that uh, products that we're uh, putting out there are products that are able to continue to encourage our own local economy. This strategic gain is seen as a significant milestone in Nigeria's journey towards a sustainable and just transition. The federal government through the Ministry of Housing and Urban Development says it is poised to fix a macroeconomic environment that will create opportunities for Nigerians, especially in the delivery of affordable housing to medium and low income earners. The Minister of Housing, Ahmed Musa Dengiwa, gave the insight at the financial institutions gathering in Abuja. So I know it was concerned that the capital market that has not been maximally tapped to raise long funds, funds to finance mortgage loans and to explore more creative ways to make mortgages more affordable even as we work to fix the larger macroeconomic problems. The main part, what we want to do now currently is the implementation of comprehensive land reforms towards streamlined land administration and ensure the easy, cost-effective, and efficient access to land in our country. To know the market is there, and it's possible to overcome most of these uh, challenges. Like the Honorable Minister has said, we're going to work with them. Nigerian insurance companies earn 729.1 billion premium from uh, life and non-life businesses in the first three quarters of 2023 financial period. The National Insurance Commission disclosed this in a, a report titled Nigeria Insurance Market at a glance third quarter 2023. According to the report, the companies paid 365.5 billion naira to gross claims, while net claims amounted to 259 billion naira in the period under review. Under the non-life business, Oil and gas accounted for 28.9%, fire 23.6%, while motor was 18.1%. The figures showed that under life business, individual life accounted for 36.4%, while 34.5% was group life. Let's now see how much the Naira is exchanging for the currencies. Relief has come the way of taxpayers and businesses as the Federal Inland Revenue Service, FIRS, has granted them full waiver on accumulated penalties and interest for outstanding tax liabilities. Uh, Chairman of the Revenue Service, Zaka Dedeji, uh, made the decision known in a notice personally signed by him and made available to a newsman through his special advisor on media, Dari Adekanbi. The agency imposes penalties and interest for 
failure by companies to fulfill their tax obligation as and has had when due as stipulated in extant tax laws. Adedeji said the forgiveness and pile up uh, penalties and interest was in recognition of the challenges that many taxpayers have faced in settling their outstanding tax liabilities. He added that the concession also syncs with the uh, commitment of President Bola Tinubu to support businesses to flourish. He also said full payment of outstanding original tax liabilities without interest on or before the 31st of December this year must be done by companies wishing to benefit from the uh, peculiar concession. Now, the second Niger breach has been officially handed over to the federal government seven months after its inauguration. Uh, Susan Esu, uh, Structures we are seeing are the structures for the tolling plaza. The road is going to be completed when we have completed the two interchanges. One is taking us off from the Asaba town so that if you are coming to this bridge, you don't have to go through the Asaba town and encounter a lot of wood. His Excellency President Bola Metunibu is very committed to completing this project so that uh, tolling can uh, start. However, if we get an investor who is prepared to fund the two interchanges, why not we hand over the project for construction under our HDMI program. It is to deploy solar solution to that in the coming weeks so that every night we don't have to run diesel, we have to uh, run on solar. Uh, Charles Alpha, who is standing by uh, at, uh, I mean, in Dubai for the uh, COP28 uh, 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 conference in uh, uh, Dubai. Well, Charles Alpha, can you give us an update of what is happening in the COP28 conference? Okay. Uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, thank you for joining me. And uh, at COP28, a lot of issues have actually come up, and what leaders are pushing for is uh, majorly on transition, you know, energy transition and financing uh, loss and damage. Upon uh, adoption of loss and damage, to on of course, Africa uh, adopted, or uh, let me say, the world adopted uh, that loss and damage from just a few days ago, and the only problem right now seems to be accessing this fund and. It is a problem African countries are trying to resolve here at COP28. And you know, Twin Boys is contributing just less than 5% to uh, the whole carbon uh, emission. It's contributing less than 5% to what the whole world is doing right now. But they are being hit the most, you know, talking about the uh, climate impact. But what we are now uh, hearing is the fact that for Nigeria, Nigeria is going to be launching, or has launched, actually, a carbon credit market. Now, this carbon credit market 
it, you know, it, it acts in such a way that countries or industries that pollute the air more will have to now pay for uh, you know, all of their emissions. And that is some, one of the measures now being taken. And the national contribu uh, the family contributions that it, it, uh, they, they can't zero. You have one minute remaining. Well, Paris Agreement is one of those things right now that is going to be uh, uh, revisited. And so what they are saying right now is that for individuals or companies or man manufacturing companies that pollute the air will now have to pay. And that's what uh, the credit market is all about. Uh, okay. Th th thank you very much, Azafa. Uh, uh, we will uh, we'll connect with you as soon as you have fresh information. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah. Now, as part of the presidential uh, palliative program, the federal government of Nigeria has announced the kickoff of two programs targeted at alleviating the impact of the fuel subsidy removal, uh, the presidential conditional grant uh, program, and the presidential uh, palliative loan program. This was revealed in a recent press release issued by the Honorable Minister for Industry, Trade and Investment, uh, Doris uh, Anita. In the presidential conditional grant uh, program the federal government will disburse uh, grants uh, sum of uh, 50,000 naira to nano businesses across the 774 uh, local government areas in the country the federal government through the uh, federal ministry of industry trade and investment and small and medium enterprises development agency of uh, nigeria's Medan will collaborate with state and local governments federal legislators federal ministers uh, banks and other uh, stakeholders according to the uh, statement eligible uh, nano business uh, beneficiaries should be willing to provide proof of uh, residential uh, address in their local government area and provide relevant personal and bank account information including bank verification number for verification of identity. The federal government says it has disbursed 135.4 billion naira uh, to states and the federal capital territory following the second uh, independent assessment of results achieved under the Nigeria COVID-19 Action Recovery and Economic Stimulus uh, Program NGKs in a move to address multi-dimensional poverty and support vulnerable Nigerians. NGKs uh, World Bank assisted $750 million performance for results program saw the disbursement of funds based on the results achieved by the state and FCT in their efforts to support the less privileged. Dr. Abdul Karim Obaji, the national coordinator of the NGKS program, revealed this milestone achieved in a statement by Suleiman Odapu, the information and communication officer of NGKS in Abuja. Obaji said the uh, funds were disbursed based on the uh, results achieved by states and FCT in their efforts at supporting poor and vulnerable Nigerians under the NGKS program. Alato Energy of Futures rose on Monday as geopolitical tension in the Middle East returned to focus, spurring concerns about supply from the region, but uncertainty over OPEC plus voluntary output cuts and global fuel demand growth clouded the uh, sector's outlook. Brent crude futures climbed uh, 28 cents to $79.16 a barrel, while U.S. West Texas intermediate crude futures were at $74.36 a barrel, up 20 nine cents. Let's now see how commodities are trading around the world.
The Ladra Extractive Industries Transparency Initiative, NITE, and the National Bureau of Statistics have concluded arrangements to sign a memorandum of understanding on the exchange of data, data coordination, data integrity, analysis management, and utilization for national development. Uh, this, was at, uh, this was the outcome of a meeting in Abuja between the Executive Secretary of NITE, Dr. Oji Ogbonaya Oji, and the Statistician General of the Federation, Adeyemi Adinira, according to a statement, the uh, MOU will define the rules of engagement on data sharing and management, access and deployment, and as measures to strengthen the integrity of data. The MOU will also outline areas of mutual cooperation between NITE and MBS on training and manpower development, improvement of information technology systems, and develop uh, frameworks to enhance operational efficiency. This is in addition to outlining modalities and frameworks for the partnership and collaboration on the interagency partnership managing information and data on beneficial ownership disclosures, which is required to mitigate tax evasion, illicit financial flows, and terrorism financing, contract transparency, how many contracts were awarded, the standards and quality of the contracts, gender and environment. Now let's now see a summary of how stocks uh, feared last week in Nigeria has put together by Olayinka Ojo. All share index appreciated by 0.27%, while market capitalization depreciated by 0.23% to close last week trading at 71,419.87 basis points and 39.082 trillion naira. A total turnover of 2.543 billion shares worth 38.644 billion naira in 36,138 deals were traded last week by investors on the floor of the exchange. The financial services industry led the activity chart with 1.721 billion shares valued at 18.281 billion naira in 17,151 deals, contributing 67.68% and 47.30% to the total equity turnover in volume and value. The conglomerates industry followed with 200.584 million shares worth 1.546 billion naira in 2,073 deals. The third place was the services industry with a turnover of 122.025 million shares worth 376.167 million naira in 2051 deals. Trading in the top three equities, namely Universal Insurance PLC, Access Holding PLC, and Transnational Corporation PLC, accounted for 660.409 million shares worth 4.795 billion naira in 4,000. 194 deals. A total of 43,318 units of ETPs valued at 10.993 million naira were traded last week in 308 deals. From the bonds market, 17,903 units valued at 18.305 million naira were traded in 14 deals. For summary of price changes, 32 equities appreciated in price during the week, 49 equities depreciated in price, while 73 equities remained unchanged. Olayin Kaujo for Business Express. And now to capital market Asia market mix has investors await this week's key inflation data. Uh, Bosade uh, Abel is standing by uh, for global update. Bosade, what's happening? Tell us about uh, uh, investors' sentiment uh, uh, this afternoon. Hello and welcome to the Global Market Review. European markets were mixed on Monday amid an apparent pause in the recent global rally as traders bet on interest rate cuts from major central banks in 20, 2024. DAX rose 0.12%, while FTSE dip 0.33%, CAC 40 of France top 0.16%. Asia markets were mixed on Monday with investors awaiting a slew of key economic data Tuesday and inflation readings later this week. Nikkei did 0.60% at 
27 the shanghai composite drop, dropped 0.29 percent at 3022.91 and the hansen index also depreciated one 0.09% across 16,644.05. Stock futures in the U.S. were little lower after the S&P 500 closed at a new 2023 high following a five-week wind streak. Features on the Dow Jones Industrial Average dip 0.18%, S&P 500 0.28%, and Nasdaq Composite also dropped 0.28%. 38%. Africa market closed mix with South Africa's JSE Africa Top 40 dropping 0.28%, while Namibia and Tunisia closed red. That's the global market review for the first trading day in the week. I am Boss Adebo. Over to you, Musa. Uh, but it seems like uh, uh, more of a red in Europe and America. Well, we hope things will get better by the end of the session. Definitely. Well, this is where we end this edition of Business Express. We value your feedback, so keep the comments and observations coming. Uh, be informed that all previous episodes are available on YouTube on NTS channel. Business Express returns Tuesday at 9.30 a.m. I'm Musa Bakar. Thanks for your company. <laughs>